the forehead of your robot. Fewer movies had ever passed through the MPAA, especially movies including Evil Dead and, at one point, Requiem for a Dream, which was trimmed and later reworked into the movie we'd know and love. And the others were mostly just adult-oriented movies including perverse content and heavy use of drugs and alcohol. One of the bigger movie studios that passed the course of time is the underground snuff film company, Moonlight Studios, the same company who uploaded a few VHS snuff movies. Why am I warning about this movie company? Be forewarned, this movie company is very heavy with violence, blood, and gore, even movies like Saw, Hostel, and The Purge wish they could be this graphic. I wanna touch on a movie that I recently bought from a convention. September Hallows. According to one of the workers of the booths, Paramount Pictures secretly released this under their secret snuff label. It wasn't released publicly for obvious reasons. But the movie that was shown was anything but Evil Dead. September Hallows is a 2014 psychological snuff movie about a cocky businessman who participates in a recreational mental camp that ends up being a cult called Cyclone, vigorously going through tortuous trivial phases while getting his body torn in shreds. The beginning of the movie is the most interesting. The Paramount Pictures is a reuse of the 2007 logo instead of their 2010 variant. What's even interesting is the background. While the mountain is vacant, the background is red. It may not seem like an interesting beginning, but this background and the movie itself is a self-showing image of what is to come. I'll try to give a short summary version of the movie. The movie starts with the businessman walking to the airport and talking on the phone. The movie is pretty slow from the beginning up until he arrives at the mental camp in the deserted area of Arizona. The moment the businessman walked into the room, a loud clatter was heard, followed by muffled screaming. A distorted voice is heard saying, Get this guy into the basement! Then it happens. The entire time of the movie is the people asking mental questions like, have you cheated on someone, or, do you hurt innocent people? Each time he lied, the two accompanied assistants tear off a piece of fingers and toes, even full-on stabbing in the arms and legs. At the end of the ordeal and after the businessman escapes the camp, the businessman was so weak. He collapsed and died slowly, with the credits slowly playing. That was only just one of many Moonlight Studios movies including but not limited to, The Crandasco Murders, Silent Night, Camp Cutaway, The Murder Tapes from Late Gansford, Police Enforcer, and Beekeeper. It's unknown if people would talk more about this forsaken and disturbing company of snuff films. What's more disturbing is that two of the workers used to work on the older public domain cartoons and even fewer episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants. To this day, the company is as dead as a quote from the 2009 version of A Christmas Carol with Jim Carrey. Yes. Quite dead. As a doornail.